Now, there are fresh calls in Washington for the Pentagon to come clean about how it's been spending trillions of taxpayers' dollars. The Department of Defense has not audited a single budget in more than 20 years. That's despite demands from Congress. One lawmaker is now accusing the Pentagon of massive overspending, as Megan Lopez explains. For 13 years now, these have been the sights and sounds of war. But with every helicopter mission and every damaged Humvee to return from the Afghan theater, there is another sound. One Congress is increasingly paying attention to. After a decade of war, lawmakers are tightening their grasp on the purse strings, decreasing the minimum defense budget for 2014 to $500 billion and demanding accountability. Not an easy mission. The Pentagon is the only agency that cannot produce a budget that can be audited and presented to the American people. Every other agency passes those tests in terms of financial audits. In fact, the Department of Defense has never been audited, even though the DOD completes over 150 million financial transactions a year and makes up one-fifth of federal spending. It should have happened many years ago, so too with the Department of Homeland Security, which also hasn't been audited. It's ludicrous that it's our taxpayer money and the DOD can't account for it. Fiscal hawks like Senator Tom Coburn from Oklahoma have been attempting to force the Pentagon's hand for years. Now, unlike previous bills, which offered incentives to the DOD for getting its fiscal house organized, Coburn's 2013 Audit the Pentagon Act would have punished the military if it did not comply. However, that bill is still sitting in committee. The Pentagon's new plan is to have its books audit ready by 2017. However, critics say that even that seems like a stretch. There, there are reasons why this isn't happening. Certainly the lack of campaign finance reform in Congress, allowing contractors to kind of have a stranglehold on both Congress and the Pentagon to prevent this audit from happening because it would incriminate them, but it would also incriminate the Pentagon employees that are abusing the money. One of the main arguments as to why Congress has not forced the Pentagon to comply is the idea that the agency is simply too big to audit. It is very complex, but to throw up our hands and say, well, it's too big, we can't worry about it, that would be surrender, and I, we shouldn't do that. And while former Congressman Ron Paul is now out of office, his senator son is taking up the cause. National defense is the most important thing we spend money on. It's one of the few legitimate constitutional functions. It should be a priority. It doesn't mean a blank check. But even if Congress did force an audit, tracking the records on the Pentagon's antiquated computer systems would be a nightmare. A recent Reuters investigation found that the computer systems were built in the 1970s and have no way of communicating with one another. According to one estimate from the office of Senator Coburn, if the Department of Defense can get its books in order, it could result in $25 billion in savings each year for the next 10 years by eliminating inefficiencies and streamlining spending. In the end, some say the true colors of the Pentagon will finally be shown when an audit does take place. It would expose the military industrial complex and, and how the negotiations go on and exactly uh, who gets the benefits and why. It's hard to know what we will find, exactly how much money can be saved and whether anything should be changed until the Pentagon finally lets auditors past its barriers. In Washington, Megan Lopez, RT.